Hey guys, June 9th, Friday, time to review some of my favorite photographs. Um, but before I do that, hey guys, I'm at the lobby of the Standard Times, and yesterday there was the show opening here, which is my international work, and at the Whaling Museum, which is my US work. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, for everyone that showed up. The reception was just absolutely stellar. I could not believe how many of you guys came to see this. It's really special. So thank you, and the show will be up until the end of August. So if you didn't get a chance to come last night, go by the Whaler Museum, come by the Standard Times, and you'll get to see some, hopefully, pretty cool photos, right? I don't know if you're gonna like them. So look, this is actually in Guatemala. Uh, that's in Honduras. Uh, this Haiti, uh, this India, it's a lot of stuff. Again, thank you so much. Now, I don't want to talk about the photographs I've shot throughout my career. I want to tell you about the ones that I shot this week. Uh, this week started like many of the last weeks, rainy and miserable. <laughs> and it was funny, I was in Fairhaven and I saw um, this woman with a very colorful umbrella. And she's actually walking a dog. But it really doesn't matter. What matters was the color of that umbrella. And I looked up the street and there was a town hall in Fairhaven and I noticed there was like a grassy knoll and the grass is so green because of all the wonderful rain we've had. And I just sat there and she just walked across. But when you're looking at a situation like this, the fact that there's a lot of green happening here is as important as there's a lot of green happening in the back. Just beyond this, the trees end and the bushes end and there's buildings back there and the effect would have been lost. The vibrance of that umbrella completely lost. Um, the next day, I went to the Buttonwood Park Zoo and I found something amazing, an endangered species. Yes, that's right, an artist. <laughs> you can make a case that artists are endangered species, right? But this she is painting the mural in uh, what's going to be eventually a monkey exhibit at, at the Buttonwood Park Zoo in New Bedford. And it was just cool. I mean, I'm just standing there and I, she has no idea. She's just walking back and forth, you know, dipping her brushes into the various buckets relative to whatever color she wants to paint in the back. <laughs> well, again, there's a story to be told in the photograph. Um, this is in Marion. Um, driving by. Uh, they were putting up the tent for the graduation and it's just so cool the way that the silhouettes are going and they were walking back and forth and I was sitting there for a while just sit and all of a sudden I see the guy with the ladder the ladder is really what puts the exclamation point in the photograph if they were just shadows there they could be doing anything but the ladder signifies tells you the story exactly what it is that they're doing in this case they're erecting the tent yeah. oh this was this was actually today um, these three girls are performing for uh, students at the Keith Middle School. Not just any students, the students who are good students, they get a special concert, and I thought that was kind of cool. You know, but, uh, okay, where can I go to make a real interesting photograph? Something that people will never see unless you are the janitor of your Keith Middle School. <laughs> that's right, that's up there, above the lights, above everything else. Really, really, really hard to photograph something like this because there's such a discrepancy in the light. From the stage lights to the audience, really difficult. You have to wait for the right moment, and you'll get it. This was also shot this morning. Um, I was in New Bedford um, Harbor, and I saw this guy who kind of looks like Lou Ferrigno. You know, I thought the Hulk might be smashing through this thing. <laughs> and again, it's just an interesting composition, but in, in a lot of ways, it signifies work right a lot of people they feel like they're trapped by their own work and, and in this case it's figuratively and you know visually uh it brings you straight into him and then as you eventually make your way out you start looking at all the other things all the other things that make a new bedford the amazing harbor that it is so thank you so much and i look forward to talking to you guys next week